Aren't you a little out of your way, Nora? Your sacred lands don't extend this far. I go where I like. What do you do here? I'm the keeper of these hunting grounds, which means, of course, that I'm the local representative of the Hunter's Lodge. To be more specific, I oversee the leverage trials here. Not that a vagabond Nora has any chance at passing them. You might be surprised. I doubt it. So how did you wind up here? I didn't wind up here. It's an honor. I don't expect you to get it, but I'm well regarded at the Hunter's Lodge back in Meridian. So much so that they sent you out here to pitch your tent in the wilds? <laughs> Are you going to take part in a trial, or stand here prattling at me? Tell me about the trials. These hunting grounds offer the leverage trials. They focus on gaining an edge by leveraging machines against each other. You might, for instance, take a weapon from one machine and use it on another. It's hard, but the firepower is often worth the risk. Tell me more about the Hunter's Lodge. It's a Karja tradition. Noble families have run the Lodge for generations. We compete to hunt the most dangerous machines. You've already won three half-sons, so you're eligible to enter the Lodge in Meridian. But don't expect a warm welcome. It's a noble institution, not a drinking hole for savages. Select a trial, and I'll tell you what to do. For this trial, you must use the cannon on a Ravager's back to take down other machines. You can shoot the cannon off, or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Ravager and make it fight for you. Oh, and here's a special tip. Try using Tear Blast arrows on Ravager cannons. They'll knock them off in one hit. A fine choice. Best of luck. All right, it shouldn't be too hard. And what was it? Tear blast arrows. I'll keep that just in case I decide to not override it to fight for me. Oh, great. A thunder jaw. Right, let me go this way. Getting overridden. Go get him. Jesus. I pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, piss off. You dumbass. Right, this is already bullshit. How the hell am I supposed to do that when these two dickheads won't piss off and they keep knocking me into the water? Come off it. Like, I overrid one of them. Why is it attacking me? Is it because I kept using my arrows on it and it hit them? Or hit that one I overrid? Overrided. One twist. All right, give me that weapon. Give me that weapon. Use it. What are you doing? There you go. Well, that actually demolished a thunder jaw. Yeah. So doing that was a lot easier than trying to override one and then shoot the gun off the other one. But I thought the first time it would help to have one Ravager fighting for me while I get the gun off the other one. Then I must have hit the other one because it kept because then it just attacked me. Because if you like override a machine and then attack it, and then like the thing comes up where it's got like a little like 
chip thing on top of it and it starts like winding down obviously you must have like dislodged something and now it's like after that runs out then it won't be overridden anymore so you've like knocked like the overridden thing and now it won't stay overridden it will like go down and then start attacking you again yeah, that was fairly easy first time was difficult because the stupid ass ravagers wouldn't stop hitting me into the water But I've done it now, so it's fine. First attempt as well. I, I can't believe it. You've earned a blazing sun on the first try. Next one. I know who you are, girl. The Nora who can control machines. So I've got a trial just for you. Use your spear to take control of two ravagers. Get them to help you take down a Thunderjaw. Good luck. You'll need it. Right, now i got to try and override two th um, Ravengers to take down a Thunderjaw. Great. Get the rope caster in case I get spotted, which I probably will. Oh, that's one down. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? It was right here, wasn't it? Where's it gone? What the f... Where's the other Ravenger gone? Oh, there it is, all the way over there. <laughs> Come on! Quick, 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 where's the other Ravenger? Piss, piss off! Oh, I'm stuck under the Ravenger. Jesus Christ. Are you fucking serious? Fucking hell. Right, get this one. Come on. Right, get after him. Now I've got to kill the Thunder Jaw. There you go, done it. Jesus Christ. I'm just going to leave him there. Because then, well, I don't know if it, they'll still be there for the next trial, but if they are, then I'll leave him there. I'll leave that weapon there as well. First attempt. And why is this guy such a disrespectful asshole? Like, some of them are right, but it's like him and, a, and like another one of these, like, groundskeepers are like, just twats. I can't believe it. You've earned a blazing sun on the first try. He sounds like a dickhead as well. For this trial, you must use the Thunderjaws cannon to destroy Ravagers. You can shoot the cannon off, or use that special spear of yours to take control of the Thunderjaw and make it fight for you. 
Oh, and you may want to use Tear Blast Arrows on the Thunderjaws Cannon. One hit will knock it right off. Very well. Get out there and give it your best. That's what I've always been doing. Can I even override a Thunder Jewel yet? Well, I guess I can. Well, if I can... Just get his weapon off his back. Have a right in. Stop, what the f I can't even have a right here, can I? Yeah, I don't think I can have a right here. Sake. Have I not knocked off one of his guns? Oh, wait, yeah, there it is. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck's sake. Come on! There you go, done it. done and that's all the hunting grounds done so now we can get like those special weapon or weapons at the hunting lodge first attempt yeah and those ravengers are left overridden they obviously just despawned which was annoying but that's the way it is. Which is bullshit, but it is. Alright, now let's get back and talk to this asshole groundskeeper. Let's go. Let's finish this one. I, I can't believe it. You've earned a blazing sun on the first try. Winning all those suns gives you access to elite gear at the Lodge in Meridian. Find Idaba there and she'll help outfit you. Great. Uh, no questions, so bye. Time for me to get going. I'll be here. Yep. And I won't. Okay, and there's someone over here who needs help. So I'll see what they want. Um, okay, yeah, I can get down like this. Oh, and there's... Are well, they shell walkers? I'm going to override one of them. Attack the other machines. Go and mess them up. Yeah, absolutely demolished them. Nice one. Looking good. Right, well, I mean, to be honest, I didn't need to override him, but. See how it's got like a little thing? Oh. Yeah, he's hostile now. 
Why would I... Why would I override him again? Like, why would I do that? Alright, that's done. Alright. Who's this? Find help. Easy now. What's your name? What happened? Hackard. Find help for Pitchcliff. The Glindhawks keep attacking. They'll kill my brother. Everyone. Not if I have anything to say about it. Okay. Oh, that's all the way over there. Um, fine, I'll just go there. Is there like a strider nearby though? Okay, there's some broadheads up ahead, so I'll make the trip there a bit quicker. And I gotta go up there at some point. Now it looks like I'm gonna have to run for now until I get to that broadhead location. And then I'll be able to get to the Death from the Skies quest quicker. And go to Pitchcliff. And if he's all the way here, how did he get all the way here all the way from there? He went far. Just to wind up there. And then you think those shell walkers or carriers. That went past him and just didn't even, like didn't even acknowledge him. Oh, that's a scrapper. Shell walkers. All right, am I close enough to the? Yeah, it's just up here. The broadheads. Get close enough to one, override it, and then I'll be able to get to there, to this village quicker. And I'm nearly level 50, which I think is like the max level you can get to. And I don't even think I'm like halfway through the game yet. I don't think, anyway. I don't know. I don't really know how far in the game I really am. You're coming with me. Alright, let's go. Just go. Run past these ones. Let me quick save. Whoa! You serious? Bitch. He's coming at you. Oh, you absolutely demolished him. Nice one. Let's go now. Scum. Yeah, don't mind us. He didn't mind us. Some snap moles. Come on, keep going. So this little village up here is getting attacked by glint hawks, are they? Is there another case of something's drawing them to attack the village? Because of something they've done, or like something somebody else has done? Or they just a lot. Like there's just a lot of them up here. Oh, I see him. Alright, get off. And fire arrows. Yeah, this is pitch cliff. Let me try and tie one of them down and get them to fight for me. Help me. Come on. Override it. Come on, quick. 
quick. Alright, now fight the other ones. Fuck them up. He's getting them. Yeah, that's right, mess them up. There's quite a lot of people here. Got him, nice. Well, at least we got one fighting for us now. But there's loads of these people. Like, enough of them to not really struggle against some glint hawks. Sorry, just chill up there for now. Oh, I have to kill him. It says kill the glint horse. I've got to kill him. Right. I've got to put you down. Even though you're not hostile, I've got to put you down. Right, just, just sit there. Don't move. Right, let me just get to you. I need to have a word. I need to have a word with you. This is where it ends. Yeah. See, look how tough it is. When I ever ride the machines, they're so much more tougher. What made these Quintox attack? I better speak to whoever's in charge. Yeah. Like, uh, machines are so much more tougher when I override them. Because when I just attack them normally and then I haven't overridden them. But like they're, they're not as strong as they are when I override them, which is interesting. How me overriding them makes them more powerful. Another Ostrom village. Oh, what do you, what do you got? Nothing special. Yeah. Any weapons? No, I got all that. Um, let me. No, inventory. Inventory. And. Yeah, let me get the bow. Put that one there. Oh, well, actually, let me put that one there. Have I got a fireplace? Yeah. Yeah, Osram. That's what these people are called. They're basically just like blacksmiths, really. Blacksmiths, engineers, that sort of thing. And of course, they're all like thick and like built up. Even like the women are. They're all like muscular. Because that's all these lot do. Just blacksmithing and all that sort of stuff. So, who am I talking to? Find the leader. Oh, the leader's up there. Do we do now? Well, get back to smithing, that's what. See, they do have one of these. So, they did a, That's why the glint holes were attacking. They had one of those. I was attracting them. But was that because one of them not found it? Or someone put it there on purpose? It's probably most likely going to be someone put it there on purpose or something. You just flew in on a rainbow and saved our sorry slags. Where do you come from? A man named Hackard outside the village warned me. Traitor! I ordered him to stay put! I'll throw him in irons! He's dead. What? That scorched out, filthy, rotten, dirt wad of a brother! Why didn't he listen? Why? He was worried you and the entire town would be killed. Do you have any idea what could be drawing the Glinthawks? Why did I ask a question, didn't let him answer, to then ask him another question? Like, okay. Has anyone come trying to sell lures? They're devices that attract machines. Is that real? <laughs> Is that some sort of Nora joke? I'll take that as a no. Has anything changed that might have lured the Glint Hawks? 
Have you left machine scrap lying around? No. Asaram use our scrap. Not like the Karja. They only keep the pretty parts. So the Karja have been leaving scrap around? Here? Never! If a Karja wasted scrap on my watch, I'd pick it up and make him eat it. Why do you think the Karja have anything to do with the Glint Hawks? We built this outpost to protect against the Karja. Now they're coming here to trade. Fine. Their shards are as good as anyone's. But everyone knows that they want this place. Come to think of it, they want every place. But how could the Karja have brought on the Glint Hawks? If I ever get a break from them, I'll see if I can spare a man to follow the trail. Guaranteed, there's a Karja at the other end. What exactly do you do here? I'm the mayor. Mostly because I was too drunk to say no when my brother asked me. Hmm. Tell me where he is, and I'll lay him to rest once we get these glint hogs to flock off. You'll find him due south of here, along the river. Damn that fool. That bum. That lunkhead. Thank you for being with him at the end. Why don't I investigate why the Glint Hawks are attacking? You've got your hands full. Really? No one ever offers to help me. You, uh, any good at tracking? You could say that. All right, then. Let me know what you find. Hammer to steel. A card is behind all this. Well, I already know what the problem is. Like, it's one of those laws. Like, we saw it. Up here. What are you doing? Um, what are you doing? By the sun, it won't turn off. That device is making the Glint Hawks attack. Turn it off. Me? I don't know how to turn it off any more than I know how I turned it on. I scrounged it from an old workshop. Well, that should do it. Now start talking. Ask him a question to then not all answers and then ask him another question like, what is this? And also, how come we just stabbed it with a spear? The one with before, like, when he counted out the estate, we just turned it off. So this dumbass turned it on because he found it somewhere. What an idiot. Why are you scrounging gear you don't even understand? My customers demand extraordinary pieces best found at the fringes of civilization. My tales of adventure only increase their value. Where others only dare tread, I flourish. No mountain climbs too high that I can't mount it. My trade demands sacrifice. Including the sacrifice of innocence? Those glint hawks swooped down and attacked everyone. I didn't mean for that to happen. I sought only to sate the appetites of rich nobles who never leave their mansions. You mentioned you found the device in a workshop? Yes. I camped out atop the snowy eastern ridge. No easy climb, even in my best years. But I girded my... Enough. Were there any other devices at this workshop? Abandoned equipment. The likes of which I've never seen. A peculiar silo remained impervious to my attempts to open it. As I searched, I wondered how many secrets lie hidden in this world. As we, in our ignorance, go about our daily... Your point? Oh. No, I didn't see another device. But one could still be there, waiting to unleash its horrors. Did you know this whole time that that device was luring Glinthawks? By the sun, no! I stashed it here for a while, but when I came back, I was nearly beheaded by one of those flying terrors. This device is dangerous. I have to find that workshop and make sure it's the last. Where is it? On the eastern ridge, just beyond my campsite. But after I descended from the workshop, a cracking above me signaled my doom. I dove into the river mere moments before an avalanche took out the path. You can't reach it now. The climb is too perilous. I'll take my chances. 
You just stay away from that workshop and try not to cause another mess. Yeah, Shahavad, you dumbass. Alright, so where's the campsite? Oh, it's all the way up here. Oh, great. Well, I've got an excuse to go up there. No, you would not have. Alright, okay, my broadhead is still there, which is good, so I can get up there quicker. Alright, come here. Let's go. They've chopped down a lot of trees here, and what is that? That's like a prior. Alright, so what's that? That is a Ravenger site. That's obviously another Broadhead site. And I guess I might as well go up here and get that metal flower. After I finish this quest. Alright, get up, get up, get up, get up. What's with these big towers? Like these big wooden hay looking towers? What's that about? Oh, chargers. I thought these were cool. Why aren't these called broadheads? Yeah, that's whatever. Just go, 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 go. Go! What the fuck are you getting stuck on? Move! Jesus Christ. I jump across. Are you s Come on. Right, they're chasing me. That's great. No, don't... Don't run away. Oh. Now sit your ass down, bird. I've reached level 50. Oh, shit. Let me get the... What is it? The metal... No, the Shadow Ratzler. Reload! Alright, let's try some freeze bolts. Actually, no, that won't be useful on that one. Let's try some shock ones. Is that not doing anything? Oh, there you go. Oh, there's so many machines. Are you serious? You're telling me that's out of range? It's literally right in front of me. Oh, hang on. Give me some of that. Make me resistant to frost damage. Let me see if doing something that's usually strong for them. They use like ice shit. Let me use it against them. Yeah, so it does take a bit more to kind of like mess them up. Alright, let me try a corruption bow. Piss off. Is that Snap Maul gonna do anything? Is he shooting? He's not even doing anything. There you go, do something. That's right, attack each other. And then I'll come over here and get the scraps.
I lost my charger, but it is what it is. Okay, are they still fighting? Yeah, they're still fighting. I'll leave them to it right now, so I can get all this other materials. All this scrap. Here's another one. That'll keep you busy. Okay. They're fighting each other, but it's... All right, they're doing some damage. Oh, they've stopped. There you go, finished it off for you. Ah, yes, that's what else I can use shards for, is to make more ammo for my weapons. Getting a big haul today. Right now, I've got to run the rest of the way. There's a fireplace there. Let me go to the. What's over there? I'll check that out. Let me. Uh, let me go to this fireplace and then I'll head for the side quest. And then after that, I'll head for this flower up here and then I'll head over here and see what's over there. And then I'll head back to the. Um, the camp, the village. I've already forgotten what it's called. I should say what it's called, right? Yeah, Pitchcliff. Alright. Let's see what else is up here. Any more laws or anything? Because to be honest, we could use those laws for. like as a way to get all the machines in one spot. And set like a bunch of traps up and then just absolutely demolish like loads of machines. You know, something like that. So like maybe create a kill zone and then just draw in loads of machines and just constantly killing them all. And then you're making a sustainable living by like getting loads of shards and materials and like different lenses and stuff like that off them. And then you can just make loads of money and kill those machines. So not only are you helping yourself, but you're helping others by killing all the machines. Alright, am I going the right way? Yeah, I'm going the right way. And he says the climb up there is perilous because an avalanche happened and it completely destroyed the path to the campsite he was at. But perilous for him, but not for me. It's just uh, another casual climb. Alright, this must be his campsite right here then. Here's the scrounger's campsite, so the workshop can't be far. If I can find a way around the avalanche. There's always a way. When there's a will, there's a way. There's always a way, if there's a will. And if there's a will, there's a way. So what, I absolutely demolished the path. Why? Like, you could have grabbed that one you're on right now, but instead you decide to let yourself drop to grab on the bottom one. Like, why? Slow motion jumps, cool. Making them more epic. Slow mo jumps. That's it, come on. Oh, nice spin around jump. Um, Sliding won't be easy in the snow. Which way am I going now? And now the snow, and now it's getting heavier with the snow. So wait, am I supposed to jump on that side now? I guess. Yeah, I am. Right up the top. 
It must be freezing. But now it's like a bit of a... Oh. I wasn't even that close to it and it still gave a back blast or a shockwave and knocked me over. So what are these ones? Long legs. Just one shot to the chest and they're destroyed. Yeah, it doesn't really matter though because they're not that strong. Oh, okay, so you got a bellow back. Freeze fellow back. Shoot his back. There you go. Well, how the hell did that guy who brought the lure up to the pitch... What was it? Pitch... Yeah, pitch cliff. How did that guy who brought that lure up to pitch cliff, like, get here himself? With all these machines around. And like also it's like treacherous climb and cold and all that. But a lure brought that stormbird here. If I find any and destroy them, the machine should leave. Oh. That's a big bird. Oh, there is more lures, okay. Fire arrows. Am I not I'm not close enough then? Can I override it? Oh, it's weakness is that, is it? Wait, hang on. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, he dropped. Let me use fire arrows. I think our fire arrows will work. Oh, he's, he's stuck inside the rock. He's down. I can hear the lore as well. How did they even get up here? Pass up here. Right, how many more? Two left. <clears throat> Two left. I'm guessing the people who previously lived up in this camp had to leave because the laws brought in so many glint hawks. Where's the other one? Done. No more lures. Now about this workshop. Parchment. Whoever this Durval is, it sounds like he's made a lot of enemies. For good reason, too. Now to bring word back to Pitchcliff. What does it say? Dearest cogs and puppets, your miserable bungs have failed to find me again. Your attempts to catch me would make me laugh if I wasn't so busy running circles around you or your so-called intelligence. Gathering, just give up. Or better yet, kill yourselves and save me the effort, just... Wait, save me the effort, you worthless slags. Never yours, Dervil. Okay, well let me um, 
fast travel back this way. Well, actually, I'll head back to the village. I can just fast travel back. He's up there, I need to go back. Oh, he's up that way. You'll be happy to know I found another one of those lures and destroyed it. Should be the last you'll hear of it. By fire and spit, you went above and beyond. How do you know there won't be any more? The workshop where I found it was long abandoned. You're safe. Good. My troops want to spit and shake your hand, as my brother would have. On behalf of Pitchcliffe and my family, I thank you. You're welcome. All right, now let me get out there and get this flower. Get the flower and then check out what's over here as well. Let me quick save. Oh, okay, I can take a guess then. What's this way then? It's probably another bandit camp. Let me get my fire arrows ready. The storm bird. I wonder if I can get close enough to override it, but it's flying around, so I can't get it. I probably can't override it. Not yet. So there's more Ostrom stuff. Oh! Wait, let me shoot him. Way too far now. How are those missing? Jesus. You can get past this point, but it looks like it's blocked. Now, this must be a bandit camp, so let's go there and clear out. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a way through. Not yet, perhaps.
Um, no, I don't think I can go that way. has to be a bandit camp up this way because there's all those well bandit signs and, s and it's all just all the usual stuff bandits would have all this black and red shit Bandits here? Oh, yeah, I do see some. Oh, he's blind. Dark. We got killed right here. Quietly. Who went down? No one. Hours. How come it's not showing up on a map as a bandit camp? And these are by Osram. Says mercenary gunner. So they're not bandits? They're Osram, like rogue Osram or something? But they got a base like bandits though. Can I get out there? Have any prisoners? Doesn't look like it. Might be some more people further back, perhaps. Seeing anything. Yeah, these are Osram, they're not bandits, but they've got all the bandit stuff. They have all the bandit themed stuff, so they're like rogue Osram or something. Right, well I guess that's that. And there is something... Where is it?
I think it here. I, I did see something here, but it's not there now, but it might turn up in a minute when I get there. Let's see. Oh no, there it is, it's over here. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Uh, Sona. War Chief Sona, you're reinforcing Mother's Crown? If the Nora are to weather another attack by the Metal Devil, we must brace our defenses. Still, the concern is not yours. You're not planning to command. You can still ask, War Chief. Very well. We need to harvest lance horns. They carry chill water, and their lenses have many uses also. I have chill water now. Good. Our ice and fire will stape off the machines. That leaves the matter of the Lancehorn lands. There is hunting to the west of here. I also need the watchtowers stocked with signal arrows. Take these to Orn's Tower in the south. If you would. Alright, no problem. Okay, so I need to get some Lancehorn parts and then deliver the signal hours she cleans up well what am I going the right way yeah going the right way they still got wounded here apparently they've still got wounded from that ambush by the machines and killers Let me get some Lancehorn's lenses. Oh, there's one. Okay. Is that a, oh, it's a soul tooth. Override him for now. We're apart. I oh, don't really need you alive anymore. Now we need to deliver the signal arrows to Orn. Okay, I'll fast travel this quicker. Okay, which way? This way. Like, what's happening? Is there like going to be an attack or something? Like, what's with all this preparation and def extra defenses? How high up is this tower? Does it need to be this high up though? 